Good evening. This is Luke Thomas Holmquist here at the Earthquake Forecast Center. It is 9 10 in the evening on Sunday, April 4th, 2021. And I believe there's one main area of uh, uh, risk that's very concerning right now. It's down in southern Japan. And we'll get to that in a minute. We're going to start out with uh, California, though. And we have a risk uh, today, the 4th into the 5th. And this could produce a 4.5 uh, or larger earthquake northwest of Los Angeles from, to Santa Barbara, Santa Maria to Salinas and Coalinga, uh, Parkfield, this area here, uh, just west of Bakersfield is, uh, could produce a uh, 4.0 to 5.0. I mean, we could always get a larger earthquake, but that's uh, very high risk northwest of LA. Uh, what gets very concerning is when the we get in these uh, reds and dark red which we have in uh, Japan. And then <clears throat> on the 5th into the 6th, we have a, the same area of uh, high risk here northwest of Los Angeles in Santa Barbara, Santa Maria. That same area is up here, pretty much the same area. And then on the 6th and the 7th, it kind of quiets down for a while. So let's go to our next uh, forecast area in Alaska. And we have here uh, an area building in on the 6th and the 7th near uh, Kodiak Island, northeast of Sand Point and uh, southwest of uh, Anchorage. This area is uh, very high risk on the 6th and 7th, which could produce a 5.0 to 5.5 or larger in that area on the 6th and the 7th near Kodiak Island. And the country of uh, Chile. All right, we're more into this next forecast period, the fourth into the fifth. And La Serena right now, 65% risk near there. And the far south here, but the highest risk is near uh, La Serena, uh, the fourth and the fifth. And here we have a very high risk up here in northern Chile and Bolivia, and uh, this here could produce a 5.5, maybe 5.0 to 5.5 earthquake in the far northern part of Chile on April 5th into April 6th. And then uh, southwest of Santiago, Chile, we have a, an area here, 65% risk. And then on the 6th and the 7th, it gets quiet. So the, uh, the highest risk is on the 5th and the 6th of April where we could get a 5.5 or larger in the northern part of Chile. And uh, the country of Italy. Right now, this forecast map is uh, for high risk in the south and southeast part of Italy right now. And then the fourth into the fifth, which is right about now, but it's actually the fifth over there. So this uh, forecast is valid east of Salinas and the uh, maybe out in the ocean here. Actually, that's the Mediterranean out here. Um, we could get a 4.0 to 5.0 up there uh, east of uh, Sicily. And then the risk begins to diminish on the 5th into the 6th. And then on the 6th into the 7th, uh, pretty high risk down near Tunisia. Okay, here's the map that I was uh, telling you about. It's uh, very concerning, and that is, well, first of all, we got a 4.3, 4.5 in this area right here, uh, southwest of Tokyo, right in this 80% risk area today. And then on the 6th into the 7th of April, right now it's the 5th over there. Uh, so coming up during the next 36 hours or so, we have a very high risk uh, down here uh, from Hiroshima uh, to Osaka in that area. Um, and this could produce a 5.0 to 5.5 or larger. Very high risk uh, near Osaka and uh, Kyoto and over to Hiroshima, this area right here. 
uh, during the next 36 to 48 hours. Over in the Philippines, uh, the risk is pretty much in the north. Very high risk across the far north on the third and the fourth. Right now it's the fifth over there. So this is the forecast map for that. Still high risk across the north. And the fifth and the sixth begins to diminish across there and then still increases to 60 to 65% on the sixth to the seventh. Most of the risk remains across the northern part of the Philippines during the next 48 hours. All right, excuse me. All right, the third and the fourth risk is building into Albania here. And right now it is the fifth over there. So we'll look over at this forecast map. And uh, 5.0 is possible out here in the western portion of Greece on the fourth into the fifth. And this is when something more significant of 5.5 is possible. Uh, west of Athens, Greece. In Western Greece here, 5.5 is possible on April 5th into April 6th. And then on April 6th to the 7th, it kind of quiets down, but April 5th into April 6th, we could get a 5.5 out here Northwest of Athens, Greece. All right, in Central America. All right, right now is the fourth. So this is our forecast map here. Uh, Western Guatemala and far southern Mexico could get a 4.0 to 5.0, the fourth to the fifth, and then the fifth into the sixth. Down here in Costa Rica, we could get a 5.5 in that area in southern Costa Rica and western Panama. And then on the sixth to the seventh, that same area in Costa Rica could get a 5.5. So the area to watch during the next 48 hours is. Uh, Southern Costa Rica and Costa Rica and Western Panama and extreme southern portion of Nicaragua for a significant earthquake. All right, Indonesia. All right, we're looking at the, it's the fifth over there right now. So we have a pretty high risk out here in Eastern Indonesia. And this is significant here, April 5th and April 6th. We could get a 5.5 in the far northern part of Sumatra on the 5th and the 6th. And even the 6th and the 7th, you get a 4.5 to 5.0 in the far northern part of Sumatra. And in Taiwan, risk is, uh, let's go to the 5th right now, April 4th and April 5th, and uh, pretty high risk here up in the farther a northern portion of the Ryukyu Islands right now. And then northern Taiwan and Taipei here uh, could get a significant earthquake on the 5th into the 6th. Uh, 4.5 to 5.0 is possible there. And then a 6.0 is possible on uh, far north, uh, north of uh, Taiwan out here and west of Okinawa out here on the 6th and the 7th of April. And Washington State, high risk right now, right around Seattle. Uh, the, the state of Washington, Oregon, and Idaho is very difficult to forecast this area. But right now for the next uh, couple of days, uh, this one's for the 4th and the 7th. Uh, the risk is pretty high near Seattle. And Turkey, the risk for, uh, for the next 48 hours is in far southeastern Turkey and Iraq, northern Iraq. And you can see that right here on the 4th and the 5th, which is right now. 5.0 is possible there in, in Iraq or southern and southeastern Turkey. And the 5th and the 6th, pretty much the same area there. Six into the seventh, you can see over eastern Iraq and mostly over Iraq during the sixth and the seventh of April. A couple more maps here Caribbean, very high risk right now from the fourth into the fifth during the next 24 hours, and from Puerto Rico to the northern Lesser Antilles. 
on the 5th and 6th and the 6th and 7th. The risk is in the northern Lesser Antilles to the central Lesser Antilles, where a 4.5 to 5.0 is possible during this forecast period. One more map here in New Zealand. Um, right now, the risk is in the far northeast portion of New Zealand, April 4th to April 5th. The 5th into the 6th is kind of here in the uh, western, west central part of uh, New Zealand. And the 6th into the 7th in the far southwest. Once more, let's look at uh, Los Angeles and Japan. Right now on the 4th and the 5th, uh, we could get a 4.5 here northwest of Los Angeles and southeast of Salinas in the Coalinga, Santa Maria, Santa Barbara area, and that same area on the 5th and the 6th. And uh, most concerning right now is in Japan. On the 6th into the 7th of April, where a, a strong earthquake could occur near Hiroshima and Okayama and Osaka, this area, and uh, this could produce a 5.0 to 5.5 or even larger. So a very significant area of risk there uh, from Osaka to Hiroshima. And of course, you know where you live if you're in Japan, so you can just look at this map. Usually it's very close to the bullseye of where this risk is here, so right in that area. All right, thank you very much. Again, this is the Earthquake Forecast Center. Luke Thomas Holmquist here at the Earthquake Forecast Center, quakeprediction.com. Thank you so much for stopping by today on Sunday evening. We will talk to you again, hopefully tomorrow on Monday and uh, keep an eye out on that uh, very high risk near Japan and uh, significant risk of Northwest of Los Angeles tonight and tomorrow. Thank you so much and we will talk to you again tomorrow. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and uh, we'll see you later.